Professor Paul here from Student of the Gun University. Let's talk about going to the zoo armed. Recently, a moron decided he was going to exercise his Second Amendment rights by going to the zoo while carrying a rifle. Good idea, bad idea. Well, in my opinion, and my opinion counts, stupid idea. It's like, well, oh, I need to be safe. I carry a gun for safety. Okay. I carry a gun for safety too, moron, but I don't scare everyone at the zoo while I do it. Look at me right now. Do I look like I'm dressed for the zoo? I could go to the zoo right now, right? But I am armed and I'm prepared. Let's talk about what I'm armed and prepared with. First and foremost, I have my Pipe Hitters Union hat on to shield my head from the sun. I've got my glasses. I have my comfortable shorts, comfortable walking shoes, and oh, look at that, a full-size handgun. That's amazing. I'm carrying a full-size handgun without anyone knowing about it. Well, you say, but that's just one gun. Okay, I have a second gun. How about that? I have a cold steel folding pocket knife. Amazing. I have a phone to take pictures of the giraffes or call 911 if need be. Somebody gets hurt, that's cool. I can help them out because I have a pocket lifesaver. Let's say we've got major hemorrhage and bleeding. We got people bleed all over the place. Chris, thanks to Christian Green, I have another rat right here. I'm not done yet. Once it gets dark, I have a flashlight. Or if I'm inside a building and need to find my way out. What about things that don't need to be shot or stabbed or put, have a bandage put on them? I've got pepper spray right there. So look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm completely armed and ready to go to the zoo and no one is the wiser. What is the moral? The moral is don't be a moron, carry your gun.